Fighting a ticket in court. 1. Your Honor, I'd like to challenge this ticket. What is your reason for challenging this ticket? The police officer did not have the right to issue the ticket. Can you explain what you mean with that statement? I was rightfully parked. He told me that I was parked in a handicap space. Well, was it a handicap space? It used to be. It is not, not anymore. Well, was there a sign letting you know it was a handicap space? No, because the spot has since been removed. So, did you explain to the officer that it was no longer a handicap space? I tried, but he wouldn't listen. He said I was trying to get away from paying. Thank you. I will question the officer and get his side of the story. Fighting a ticket in court, too. I can't pay for the ticket. Why can't you pay for the ticket? Well, I just got laid off from my job. Okay, Mr. Richardson. I'm going to have to give you an alternative. What do you mean? I'm going to have to give you 36 hours of community service. Thank you for the opportunity, Your Honor. You will report to the nearest community service center. They will tell me where to go? Yes, they will give you an option of places to go. Thank you, Your Honor. I greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you don't plan on returning to this courtroom anytime soon. Learning how to drive. One. The first thing you want to do is fasten your seat belt. Check. What's next? Check your mirrors and make sure you can see behind you. Done. Should I put it in reverse now? Yes. Ease off the brake slowly. Okay. I need to turn to leave the parking lot. Make sure there are no pedestrians walking behind you. Okay. Do I turn the steering wheel to the left? Yes. Make sure you are paying attention to the cars. Will do. Do I put it in drive now? Yes, but remember, have your foot on the brake and then ease it off. Wow, this seems easy. Let's go out on the street. Learning how to drive, too. Where should my hands be on the steering wheel? Your hands should be on 10 and 2. 10 and 2? What do you mean? Think of the steering wheel as a clock. Put your hands on 10 and 2. Oh, okay. What about my eyes? Should I be looking at the signs? Take a quick glance at the signs, but always look in front. When do I have to use my horn? You should use your horn for an emergency. What about if someone cuts me off? That's not an appropriate use of your horn. Am I ready to start driving yet? No, you need to learn some more of the basics. Getting a parking ticket. Sir, is this your car? Yes, are you giving me a ticket? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Read the sign. Which sign? I don't see a sign. The sign above you, sir. So what? It says we can't park on Mondays. Yes, it does. Although it also says that you can't park without a permit. I didn't see that. Well, I'm sorry, but I still have to give you the ticket. Can't you just give me a warning? I'm sorry, but I already started writing the ticket. Fine, give me the ticket. I'll fight it in court. Getting the driver's license. Finally, I got my driver's license. Congratulations, can I see it? Sure, here it is. I don't like my picture. Oh wow, you blinked. Yeah, they didn't want to take another picture. I didn't know your middle name was David. Oh, no. I didn't want anyone to know. Well, you shouldn't have put it on your license. I had to. When are you going to get your license? I was thinking about going tomorrow to the DMV. You want me to take you? I do have my license now. Sure. Pick me up from the house at noon. Calling the insurance company. Hello. I was in an accident earlier today. Okay. Did you get the appropriate information from the other driver? Yes, I did. Just tell me what you need. It would be better if you came into the office. When can I come in? 
You can come in tomorrow. What time works for you? I can make it in tomorrow at noon. Great. Can you give me your full name? Yes, it's David Mark. Okay, Mr. Mark. I have you scheduled for tomorrow at noon. Sounds good. I will see you tomorrow. Please remember to bring all the information you got from the other driver. A traffic incident. What's going on? What happened? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'm going to need your information. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I was distracted with the car accident. I figured. Well, here is my information. Let me get my information. I have it in my car. Yes, please do that. Well, it seems like I don't have my insurance card. How could you not have your insurance information? I drive another car. I must have left it in that one. Fine, let me get your information. Sure, call me later today. I will give you my information. Calling a traffic school. Hello, I need to make an appointment. Were you mandated by the court to go to traffic school? Yes, I was. Does that matter? Yes, it does. Let me have your full name. It's David Johnson. What days do you have available? We have Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Oh, okay. okay. I can make it on Thursday. What time should I be in? Come in at 9 a.m. If you can't make it during that time, please call. Great. I will see you this Thursday. Remember to bring your court papers. We need to sign those. I seem to have lost them. Could I go to court to get another copy? Yes, go to the court and print them out before you come over. Failing to stop at a stop sign. Do you know why I stopped you? No, officer. Why? You failed to stop at the stop sign. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't see the stop sign. Have you had anything to drink? No, I have not. Do you need to see my license? Yes, I need your license and registration. Okay, here is my paperwork. I will be back. I need to check your background. Sure thing, officer. Everything seems to be in order. I'm going to give you a warning. Thank you, officer. I'll be more careful. Applying for a driving permit. Hello, I'm number G85. How may I help you today? I would like to apply for my driving permit. Are you 16 years old? That's the minimum age. Yes, I am. Here's my ID. Thank you. May I see your form? Oh, of course. Would I be able to take the written today? If you have the $30, then yes, you can take it. Oh, I must have forgotten my money at home. Well, you can make an appointment to take it tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, I will set up the appointment. Passing the road test. Dad, I passed my driving test. You did? That's great news. Where do you want to go first, Dad? You're going to take me out for a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? How about we go and get you a nice steak dinner? That sounds great. I could go for a nice steak around now. Come to the house and pick me up. Would I be able to drive myself? No, you have to drive with someone over the age of 21. Oh, okay. Well, we can drop off my friend that took me to the DMV. Sure, we can go drop him off before we leave. A car accident. Hello, officer. I want to report a car accident. What was the cause of the accident? The other driver had been drinking. Are there any casualties? No, both drivers are fine. Where did the accident take place? It's on the corner of 5th and Vine Street. How many people are involved in the accident? There are two cars. Each car has two people in the vehicle. We will respond as soon as possible. Thank you. Can you hurry? It looks like one of the drivers wants to leave. We will get there as soon as possible. Paying the ticket fine. So, how much is the ticket going to cost? 
Well, it's going to be $200. $200 for a parking ticket? Well, it looks like this is your third parking ticket. Yes, but I haven't gotten one in a couple of months. This is your third parking ticket this year. I know. Fine. I will pay the ticket. How will you be paying the ticket? I will be paying in cash. So that'll be $200 in cash. Yes, let me get you your receipt. Thank you. Have a nice day. Paying off parking tickets. Dad, I got a parking ticket at school. Well, you should pay it off as soon as possible. Where can I pay it off? You can go to downtown and go to the court there. Can I pay it off online? Yes, you can. Look at the find. It should give you a website. Oh, okay. Let me go to get the ticket. It's in my car. Hurry, because I need to leave for work. Oh, wait. I forgot. I put it in my wallet. Well, take it out, look in the back, and it should give you a website. Yes, it's in the back. Am I going to pay with my debit card? Yes, do you have the money to pay? Taking the written test. Before you take your written test, we need to take your picture. Okay, where do I go? I can take the photo. Stand behind the red line, please. Where do I go to take the test? Go on the other side of the wall and pick a stall. Sounds good. May I have a pencil? Sure, the pencils are on the front desk. Where do I obtain the test? They will give you your test. Remember, eyes on your own test. Of course. This reminds me of school. Yeah, we get that a lot. Will they let me know if I pass the test or not? Yes, they will let you know after you finish. Where to park on campus? Excuse me, this is my first time on campus. Where can I park? There are three parking lots on campus. Can you point me to the direction of the nearest one? Keep driving straight. When you get to the light, make a left. Thank you. Do I have to pay? The first floor has visitors parking. So do I have to pay? Do they take credit cards? Yes, you would have to pay, and they do take credit cards. How much does it cost to park? I believe it is $3. I could be wrong. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Driving through a red light. Where do you want to go to eat? I'm not sure. Wait, watch out! The light is red! Oh, damn. Well, there. I passed it. I think there was a cop at that light. Can you check? Look behind you. I don't see anything. Wait, there is a car turning the corner. Is it a police car? Well, is it? Oh, no. I think it is. Well, hopefully he doesn't stop us. Oh, no. He just turned on his lights. Damn. I have to pull over. Yes. I hope I don't get a ticket. Talking to the traffic school instructor. Thank you for coming in today. I'll see you next week. Excuse me, instructor. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure thing, Mr. Davis. What can I help you with? Well, about next week. I can't make it. That is a problem. You are mandated by court to attend every week. I know, but I have a family emergency. You have to go to the court and ask for an extension. Do I have to come back over here after? No, they will give you a makeup date. Great. Thank you for all your help. Sure thing. I hope everything is all right. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Failing the road test. Unfortunately, you made a lot of mistakes, and I cannot pass you. What mistakes did I make? You failed to put on your turn signals when turning a corner. How many mistakes am I allowed? You are allowed three mistakes. You got five. Which other mistakes did I make? You hit the curb when you were parallel parking. I thought you might have missed that. No, you also didn't pay attention to some, to some of the signs. Which signs are you talking about? 
You passed a yield sign and did not yield. Can I take the test again? You can take it again on Monday. Where to put the furniture? One. I have a question about my one room apartment. What do you need to know? Am I allowed to have extra people living with me? You are only allowed one roommate, but they'll need to have an application on file. Will I be charged extra for any additional people? Yes, and you'll also need special permissions for that. Are my visitors allowed to use any of the facilities? Yes, but you have to be present with them. Are occasional guest sleepovers fine? As long as it's occasional, it should be no problem. Thank you, that's all I needed to know. All right, if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. Visitors and extra tenants, too. Come inside my apartment, make yourself feel at home. Thank you for letting me visit you today. It's always nice to meet extra tenants of the apartment. How do you like the apartment so far? I don't like it. I love it. I'm glad to hear that. Everybody I've met is super friendly, and the apartment is beautiful. I share the exact same thoughts. How long have you been a tenant here? Not long. I moved in a few months ago. Would you like to have a drink? Sure. I'm kind of thirsty. Asking for directions. One. Excuse me. Can you give me a minute of your time? Sure, I don't see why not. Thank you kindly. I'm pretty new in town and I think I might be lost. Do you need to make a phone call? No, thank you. I just need some directions. Where are you trying to get to? I need to find my way back to Colorado Boulevard. Colorado Boulevard? Why, you're not far off from there. Can you point me towards the direction of that street? Gladly. You're going to walk straight down this street. All right, straight down. Then you make a right after two blocks. All right, I got that. Then a left at the next street, and you should be there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a safe trip. Asking for directions, too. You look lost. Are you in need of any directions? I was just about to ask someone for directions. Thank you for noticing. Where are you from? I'm from the inner city. You're a long way from home, then. Are you looking for a certain street? Actually, I need to get directions to the nearest public bus. Which bus number are you looking for? I'm looking for line 267. I know that bus. The stop is just around that corner. Where? Over there? In that direction. Thank you so much. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. Safe travels, my friend. Trash and Recycling, 1. Why do you have so many full trash bags? I had a party last night. I'm cleaning up now and tossing them away. Wait, what are you doing? Throwing these bags into the trash can. Why do you seem concerned? Did you divide the recyclables from the trash? No, I didn't. I was a bit lazy to do so. Don't be lazy. You should do your part in helping the environment. You're right. It's going to be messy, though. Mind giving me a hand? Sure, I'd be glad to. Thank you. This is a lot to handle alone. Don't mention it. After all, one person can make a big difference to the environment. I'll be sure to be more considerate next time. Trash and Recycling, too. Do you know where I could dispose of my trash? Yeah, there are two different colored trash cans in the back. Is there a difference between the two? Well, one is for recycling and the other is for trash. Can you tell me which color is the one for recycling? That would be the blue trash can. And the black trash can is for regular trash? That is correct. On what day does the garbage truck come by and pick up the trash? It comes every Thursday. Thank you for your help. Take care. Sure, don't mention it. Greeting the neighbor, one. Hello, neighbor. I would like to personally welcome you to the neighborhood. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Same here. It's been a few days. How do you like it so far? I like it. It's convenient for both my job and my family. 
That's good to hear. You'll find this neighborhood to be very peaceful. That's another thing I like about it. My wife thinks the area looks lovely. Are you doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. Why do you ask? I'm having a barbecue in my backyard. I want to invite you and your family. Sure. I'd be happy to join. All right. Here's my number. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I'll see you then. Greeting the neighbor, too. Greetings, neighbor. How's it going? Hello to you. It's going just fine. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. How long have you been living here? It's going to be my tenth year next month. That's quite some time. Where did you move in from? I was living in San Diego before I moved here. That's interesting. Why did you decide to leave San Diego? I simply felt that it was time for a change. I see. I've had that feeling before. Why are you moving here? Because my new job is in the area. Well, I'll be seeing you around, my new neighbor. A noisy neighbor, one. I'm sorry to knock on your door at this late hour. Is there something wrong? It's just one minor issue I have to bring up with you. Don't tell me. I think I know what it is. I hope you can understand. I completely do. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize how loud my television was. It's just a little too loud. If you could just lower it a tad bit. This is so embarrassing for me. You have my sincerest apology. No, it, that's all right. It happens to us all at one point. It's these new speakers that I bought. I'm just learning how to use them. Please, say no more. Let's just put the matter to rest. This won't happen again. A noisy neighbor. Two. Can I help you with something? Yes, I hope that you can. What seems to be the problem? Do you know what time it is? It's 11 o'clock at night. Actually, it was 11 an hour ago. Oh, you're right about that. I live right next door to you, and the loud music is keeping me awake. Is that so? It's really that loud? Yes, it is. I'm going to have to ask you to lower down the noise. Sorry about that. I'll lower down the music. Thank you. Please be a little more considerate next time. I will. Again, I apologize for the noise. It won't happen again. I sure hope it won't. Poor upkeep. This floor is falling apart. How can you tell? Are you kidding me? Step over here. You're right. The floor to this apartment is badly damaged. See, I told you so. What did you do to make the floor like this? It wasn't me. It was like this when I moved in here. You should report this poor upkeep to the landlord. You're right. I'll call him first thing in the morning. Be careful not to damage the floor any further. I won't. I hope the landlord replaces the floor soon. He probably will. Mailbox key missing. Have you seen my mailbox key lying around somewhere? No, I'm sorry. Where did you last leave it? I thought it was in my pocket. Is that where you last put it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Think hard. Where was it before you supposedly put it in your pocket? I was in my apartment cleaning out the kitchen. Maybe you emptied your pockets while you were cleaning. Wait, I think I did empty my pockets. There you go. I knew it. I remember now. My keys are on the kitchen counter. That's a relief. Key and lock problems, one. Are you locked out of your apartment? It appears that I am. Did you forget your key inside your apartment? No, I think I lost it somewhere in the city. That's unfortunate. I think I could help you. Really? Do you have another key? No, but the landlord does. He doesn't live here, though. I have his phone number. I'll just give him a call. Thank you. If you want, I'll talk to him myself. No, don't worry. I'll talk to him for you. Please, I insist. I should be the one to ask for help since I'm the one who's in need of it. All right. Suit yourself. Key and lock problems, too. Help, please. My key won't open the front door to my apartment. Oh, no. Let me try to help you. Thank you. But I don't think there's much you can do. 
Don't be so pessimistic. I'll help you unlock that door. I already tried using the key. There's no use in trying anymore. I have another idea. Care to hear it? All right. I don't have any other options. Let me drive you to a locksmith. What good will that do? A locksmith can replace your key. The one you have is now probably broken. It's worth a try, I guess. There's the spirit. Come on, let's go. Meeting the mailman. Good morning. Are you the mailman? Good morning to you. Yes, I am. What gave it away? Your uniform was a clear indicator. That's a good answer. So you're the new tenant? Yes, I am. I just moved in last week. I extend to you my welcome. How do you like the neighborhood? It's absolutely wonderful. Everybody here is so friendly. You're not wrong. I haven't come across anybody who wasn't nice. Wow! It sounds like I picked the perfect neighborhood to move into. Yep, there's no doubt about that. I hope I never move again. I have more deliveries to make, so I'll talk to you later. Questions about parking. Hello, I'm new to the apartments. I have a question. Hello and welcome. What do you need to know? Is there anything about parking my car that I need to know? You have an assigned parking spot behind the building. Are there other parking spots available? Yes, we have several unassigned spots for visitors. Where are those visitor parking spots located? Behind the building as well. What if all the parking spots are filled up? You could park in the streets, but you might be ticketed if you fail to follow rules. Could you show me how to enter the parking area? Yeah, I'll show you. Follow me. Reporting a problem to the landlord. The floor to my apartment is badly damaged. I'm sorry to hear that. How bad is it? It's practically falling apart. Did some kind of accident cause this? None that I could have made. I think your previous tenant might have caused this. That makes sense. He took poor care of the apartment. I could see that myself. I'll have that fixed as soon as possible. If it's not too much trouble, may I request one more thing? Is there anything else wrong with the apartment? It's just my bedroom window. I can't seem to get it open. I'll have that window taken care of as well. Neighbors and help. One. Hello, neighbor. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing all right. I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Sure. What is it? I'll be away for the weekend. Could you take care of my dog? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm great with dogs. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Is there anything I need to know about your dog? Not really. She's an old, calm, and friendly dog. You'll have no trouble. All right. I'll give you a call if I have any questions or concerns. I'll bring her over in a few minutes, along with her food. Thanks again. No problem. Have a safe trip. Neighbors and help too. Are you my new neighbor? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How is your day going so far? It's going just fine. Thank you for asking. Do you think you can help me with something? Sure, I would be glad to help whatever I can. It's nothing big. I just need help carrying my old couch to the curb. All right. Do you want me to help you right now? If it's not a problem. No, I'll come over right now. Thank you for the assistance. Prohibited parking. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Is there a problem? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but you can't park here. You mean right here where I just parked? Yes, unfortunately, you cannot. Oh, I was not aware that you couldn't park here. That's all right. It's a common mistake new residents often make. Thank you for informing me. Not a problem. I wouldn't want you to get a parking ticket. That's so considerate of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just keep it in mind for the next time. Don't worry. I won't forget. Laundry room rules. I need to wash my clothes. As a tenant of this apartment, you have access to the washer and dryer. 
Is that so? I didn't know that. It's good that you know now. Are there any laundry rules I should know about? Yes, there are certain hours you are allowed to use the laundry room. What are the hours? You are only allowed to wash clothes from 6 a.m. through 10 p.m. That's good to know. Is there anything else I should know? You're responsible for your belongings. Well, that's common knowledge. Also, there's no food or drink allowed in the laundry room. Thanks for going over the rules and hours with me. It was my pleasure to help a fellow neighbor. Asking about local restaurants. I sure am hungry. You should go out and eat. Do you know of any good places to eat that are around the local area? I know of a good couple. All right, let's hear them. I'm starving. Let me ask you first what are you in the mood for? Well, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. Do you like Indian food? I've never tried it. It sounds interesting. It's delicious. I would recommend giving it a try. Indian food it is. Where is the laundry room? Hello, neighbor. I just moved into the apartments last week. I have a question. Sure. What do you need to know? I need to locate the laundry room. I have a load of clothes to wash. There is one downstairs. Thank you very much. There is also another located in the basement of the neighboring building. Do I have to pay at the front desk? No, the machines require exact change. I suggest you take quarters. Does the laundry room carry detergent? Yes, but I recommend you take your own. They're expensive. That's good to know. Thanks again and have a nice day. No problem. See you around. Locked out. Oh no, I'm locked out again. Did I overhear you say what I think you just said? That I'm locked out? Yes, that's what I said. I'm sorry to hear that. How did you lock yourself out? I'm pretty sure I left my key inside the apartment. That happened to me before. What did you do when it happened? I climbed in through the window to unlock the door. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Unless you have a spare key. It seems I'm going to have to break into my own apartment. Be careful not to break anything. Is that what you did when you did the same? Accidentally, yes, I did. Plumbing problems. Who do I have the pleasure to speak to this afternoon? Hello, my name is James. You've called your city's local plumber. What can I do for you? Thank you. I have a problem with my gas line. I specialize in gas line problems. You're in luck. I'm glad to hear that. Can you come to my home today? I'm booked today. Sorry. Can I come tomorrow instead? Tomorrow works for me. Is three o'clock fine? Yes, that hour is fine. What are your rates? I will provide you with an estimate free of charge when I see the problem. All right, that sounds good. Thank you. Checking smoke detectors. Have you checked your smoke detectors recently? No, I wasn't even aware we had smoke detectors. All the apartments are equipped with them. It's an essential safety feature. How do you check if they're working? It's real easy. If you like, I could show you. That would be nice of you. Are you doing anything right now? No, it's my day off work. How about I come over and show you how to check them? Sounds good. Come inside. It's really easy to check them. Just grab one from the wall and check the battery in the back. What does this light mean? If you see the light, that means it's functioning. So I don't need to replace the battery. Thank you so much.